Hello, I'm Dr. John Warner, President of the American Heart Association. I'm here in Portland, Oregon for BCBS 2017, and I'm here with the committee co-chairs who are going to tell us a little bit about what the week looks like. Hi, my name is Michael Kapiloff. It's, it's really been an honor to spend this last year planning the 2017 Basic Cardiovascular Sciences meeting. Um, my co-chairs and I really have spent quite a bit of time revamping this meeting. This meeting has become really the flagship meeting for the cardiovascular basic sciences community across the world. And the meeting has been around five to 600 people for several years now. And this year we have a record number of abstracts in excess of 420. We've done innovative uh, things such as uh, double the number of sessions. We have concur concurrent sessions and we've added programming that you'll hear a little more about that includes sessions of general interest such as what are the, where is science going over the next 20 years for the heart. Um, we've also included uh, the highest number of women, where in excess of a third of the speakers will be women this year, as we try to increase our diversity and inclusivity of the BCVS Council. Hello, my name is Ron T. I'm one of the co-organizers of this year's conference. And I'm very excited about this program, and I'm particularly proud of the innovations the program committee brought in for this year's conference, as Michael has already mentioned that we have uh, rebuilt the program to introduce parallel sessions to have a broader coverage of the science. We also have particularly brought in translational focus sessions and bring in speakers who has not speaking, uh, has not spoken in this conference before and, uh, and there are coverages on translational relevant animal models and uh, uh, has a focus on um, heart failure with uh, preserved uh, ejection fraction. And I also want to mention that for this year's um, keynote speech, we put it towards the end of the program, so to keep the audience uh, for, the, uh, for the best at the last. And this year's keynote will be given by Dr. Kellen McRae um, from Brigham Women's Hospital. He's currently leading the One Brave Idea, uh, funded by the American Heart Association, which is supposed to be the frontier of the next decades in cardiovascular research. I hope all, all of you will uh, pay attention to the keynote speech. Hi, I'm Jenny Van Eyck, and it has been just a joy to uh, put together this program. And I'm very excited because this year we have workshops. We have three workshops, and it's really to facilitate uh, the movement of high content uh, technologies as well as the use of bioinformatics and databases to enhance uh, basic scientists. And we have three workshops and the last one is particularly, uh, I hope, cool, in which we're going to allow people to bring their specific aims or their questions to meet experts face-to-face, one-on-one. Um, so these are the people who are going to be speaking at the workshops and also populated throughout the main program are really top experts in the area of proteomics and metabolomics and they're going to bring along really rising stars who are bringing new technologies trying to facilitate and open up this whole new world into basic science. But really what we're trying to do is to try to encourage basic scientists who bring really the fundamental function of these discoveries to make a full circle of bringing big data generation into really basic science so that they can, the basic scientists can propel forward uh, the novelty and the new ideas to, to really break forward uh, the next generation of science. So congratulations on what sounds like an exciting meeting and thank you for all the preparation that went into this terrific week. I look forward to hearing more about the meeting and, and best wishes for a terrific meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.